Thank you for your interest in our research studies. We deeply appreciate your commitment to helping scientists understand how memory and thinking change as we get older, and especially in the context of diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. A type of scan called a positron emission tomography, or PET scan, allows us to visualize Alzheimer's pathology in the brain. A PET scan provides us with a view of the brain on a cellular level by using a radioactive tracer that helps us visualize protein accumulation associated with various diseases. However, PET scans involve low levels of radiation so some people worry about the effects these scans have on their health. In this video, we will walk you through what a PET scan is and what it involves, and we hope that this information will encourage you to consider joining one of our research studies. Throughout Mass General Brigham, most of our PET scans take place at the Gordon Center for Medical Imaging, or GCMI, at Massachusetts General Hospital. Our GCMI staff is made up of board-certified nuclear medicine technologists and trained research technicians with a wide range of backgrounds, but the same common goal, to expand our knowledge, push boundaries, and perform research that could lead to a change in the way we care for patients. In the context of Alzheimer's disease, PET scans allow us to view proteins in the brain known as tau and amyloid. Scientists and clinicians have known about these proteins for many years and have developed chemicals called radio tracers that are specifically formulated to stick to these proteins and cause them to light up on the brain scan. The very small amount of radioactive tracer that is injected has been used in countless studies and found to be safe in thousands of human research participants. Each radio tracer is different and therefore have different levels of radiation. Radiation is measured in units known as millisieverts. Within your consent form, there is information about how many millisieverts of radiation exposure you may receive over the course of the study. It will also explain how it compares to the normal amount of radiation exposure a human can experience in their daily life over the course of a year, using a microwave or flying in an airplane. Before the start of your scan, a PET technologist will start an intravenous or IV line in your arm, through which they will administer the radio tracer. Most participants do not feel anything with the injection, but you can always let your technician know if you experience discomfort at any point. Once the administration is complete, the technician will remove the IV from your arm and place a bandage around the site. It is important to note that each injection is different. Some injections occur while you are already in the scanner, while others require circulation in the bloodstream for up to 90 minutes before imaging can begin. Your study coordinator will be able to provide you with information about the timing of your scan. As you are positioned for your PET scan, you will be asked to remove your glasses, jewelry, hearing aids, and any other metal objects around the area we will be scanning. You will be positioned on your back with the wedge under your knees for comfort. We will supply warm blankets and ensure you are as comfortable as possible. We will use a series of bands across your forehead and chin to keep you comfortably and securely in place. These bands are important to help keep your head as still as possible and to keep it in position for the best quality imaging possible.
All brain scans will be done in a way that allows for your entire body to be outside the scanner while we image your brain. You are always in voice contact with a pet technician. If at any point you feel uncomfortable or need assistance, let the pet technician know and they will be able to help. We are so grateful to our research participants and want to ensure all your questions and concerns are answered. Please feel free to reach out to your study coordinator for more information. Thank you for your interest, and we hope that you will consider joining us as a study participant.